Baseball is a sweet sport from the past, intended to communicate pastoral virtues of the working classes of America's cities. Well, now we realize that it's possible to enslave Americans into servants to capitalism without making them put on white suits and jog. To pull baseball into grittier modern times where most children have never seen grass and processed foods are made from the flesh of corpses due to overpopulation, they started making arcade-style baseball games. Is any idea here? Call me crazy? Why don't I review one? Why don't you guys come along? Who says MLB has a steroid problem? There's nothing wrong with... Uh, is that a minotaur? Don't adjust your television because what you're seeing is just Midway's half-hearted effort to cash in on their arcade-style Major League Baseball franchise. Everything you'd expect from Slugfest is back. The violence on the base paths. Players catching on fire. Oh, I'm on fire! I'm on fire! Stop cheering! I'm on fucking fire! The crazy unlockable teams and the wacky announcing. I think he ought to try one where he just keeps winding his arm around and around. Well, the announcing is funny. I wish they would actually comment on the fact that aliens are playing baseball. The windup and the pitch. Oh my, that is not good. Supreme Space Chancellor Zulatar just gave up a home run. Boy, you said it, Ken. The Remulin Galaxy has a severe punishment for giving up the long ball. Hmm, what's that? Rotary Anal Probe. Sounds like my 10-year high school reunion. Wow, this just takes fantasy baseball to a whole other level. Anal Probe! Anal Probe! Anal Probe! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna pretend I didn't just see that. <laughs> he stuck it in my butt. <laughs> but. The main problem with Slugfest 2006 is it's boring. I mean, we just spent half of our review on an anal probe joke. <laughs> the game plays exactly like it did the last time we saw it two years ago. At first glance, the pitching and hitting interface seem pretty standard, but once the game begins, you'll realize none of it matters. You can hit any pitch that isn't thrown at your head. And when batters charge the mound, all we get is a shot of Derek Jeter wincing. I guess it really doesn't matter because the graphics are underwhelming to say the least, and the unlockables are only fun if you like watching animals play baseball. Barbaro hitting one into the gap. <laughs> Rounding third and heading home. <laughs> Score! Really, the only good thing about this game is its bargain price of 20 bucks. But that's like saying it's nice that a box of crap only costs 20 bucks. We give MLB Slugfest 2006 a two <laughs> out of five. If they want more intense baseball, they don't need to set it in dirty urban environments. They just need to let the steroids flow like wine. Or the wine flow like wine. They got all those meaty bastards hopped up on some Jesus juice. I'm betting some pretty interesting results would follow. This tacit disregard for health and morality is classic X-Play style. Our attitude is registered with the Department of Homeland Security, the national treasure. So, like I said, X-Play, it sure is a show.